Okay, let's go to page 198, and this is section 16.5, and this is about the distance formula. Okay, the distance formula is based on the Pythagorean theorem. So let's say if you have two points, uh, you have one point over here and just a random point over here. So to find this distance, let's call this point 1, this point 2. So that means this has the coordinate of x1, y1, and this would be x2, y2. Now to figure this distance, you use a Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so this would be like your C. Okay, so this line, so again, the Pythagorean theorem is A squared plus B squared equal to C squared, right? Okay, so that's, um, so that's going to call this, um, that's going to call this A, B, C. Okay? So to figure the A square, to figure the A, A is from here to here. So if you go straight down, here is your X2. Right? So if you just look at X, so here's your X1, here's your X2. So A will equal to X2 minus X1. Right? Just think about number line. Okay? Think about number line. Let's say if you have 3 here and you have 7, Okay, so what's the distance between them? Well, 7 minus 3, right? Use the end minus the beginning, we give you the distance. So use the end minus the beginning. Okay, and same thing over here. So, so, from, so this point over here would be y, so it would be y1, and this would be y2, right? When you go up and down, right? Okay, so the vertical, so b, will equal to y2 minus y1, right? So you can from from here to here, use the end minus begin. Think about number nine vertically, right? And so if you apply into here, then you can see this, then you take the square, so C will equal to square root, right? Take a square root on both sides, right? So it'd be X, okay, that, that's the one step at a time. So C square equal to A square plus B square. Take the square root, so C equal to square root of A square plus B square, okay? And you substitute this into here. So the C, or the distance, okay, will equal to x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square, right? And that, that's your distance formula using the Pythagorean theorem. Okay. Let's go to example... 16-8 is that from all the x such that the point x3 is 5 units away from Nick so this is your point 1, point 2, 7 okay so the distance, the, the distance between the two distance is equal to 5 Okay, so again, to solve for x, you just go and use the distance formula, right? So distance equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. So substituting here, so you got 5 equal to square root of, so that's your x1, so that's your x2, x1, right? So it'd be negative 1 minus x square plus 7 minus 3 square, right? Okay, so if you square both sides, you get 25 equal to negative 1 minus x square plus uh, 4 square. Okay, now you saw multiply this area. What I'm going to do is I am going to subtract 16 on both sides. So I got 9 equal to negative 1 minus x, negative 1 minus x square. Now I'm going to take the square root. Okay, take the square on both sides, so, so I get negative 1 minus x is equal to plus or minus 3. Okay. I'm going to separate, so negative 1 minus x equal to 3, negative 1 minus x equal to negative 3. Then from here, going, uh, I'm going to plus 1 on both sides, so negative x equal to 4, so x equal to negative 4. And over here, plus 1 on both sides. So I got negative x equal to negative 2. So x equal to 2. 
So there are two possible answers. Okay, let's go to example 16-9. So you have equation x plus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared equal to 9. This is a circle, so to plot this, this is called a center radius form. Okay, so this, the center, in this case the center, would be, so you set this equal to 0, so it would be negative 1 comma 2. And this is your r squared, so radius will equal to 3. Okay, so this will give you the, the center, this gives you the radius. This is r squared. Okay, so center is negative 1, 2. Okay, so negative 1, 2, right over here, that's your center. And r equal to 3, so you just go and just put down 3 in every direction. So it's nice to have a ruler. So you just can you can just go three in every direction. Right, the radius equal to three. And when you have enough points, okay, you can just go random point. When it's horizontal or vertical, you can see it's going to be on the grid, right? Okay. So you just go three on each direction, and then you can just go ahead and sketch. Okay, so that's how you plot a circle. Okay. Okay, let's go to example 16-10. It says, find the center and radius of the circle described by 2x squared plus 2y squared plus 8x minus 12y plus 3 equal to 0. Okay, so to find the, uh, the center and the radius, you need to uh, complete a square on this side, uh, on this equation. Now to complete the square, uh, first let's go and vacate this number, so minus 3 on both sides. So you get 2x squared and, okay, plus 2y squared plus ax minus 12y equal to negative 3. Now next, since all these are even, so we can divide by 2 to get rid of each, uh, to, to lower the number. And I'm going to group them together already, so you got x squared, so this cancel out, and this will give, you, give me plus 4x. Keep a space, okay, plus y squared minus 6y, leave a space, so negative 3 over 2. Okay, now to complete a square, we need to go and make it into a perfect square. So from this I get this. From this I get uh, plus 2 because in order to get the middle term of this would be always 2 times this, right? So 2 times 2 give you 4 times x give you that, right? So from here give you that, okay? So again, in order to get 4x you need to have a plus 2 here to get a 4x. Now, but if you have plus 2 over here, you're missing a number over here. So this one, what you need to do is you need to have a plus 4, okay? Now, because you plus 4 over here on this side, you need to plus 4 over here. You have to do exactly the same. That's what equal means. Okay. And then after that, this side, same thing. Okay. To get negative, to get negative 6y, you need to get minus 3. Okay. So you need to get minus 3 to get this minus 6y. But to get minus 3 here, you're going to have a plus 9. Okay. And if you plus 9, you need to get plus 9 over here. Okay, and then this will equal to, now you have to add all this together. Uh, 20, so you get 23 over 2. Okay, you add this together, you get that. So now your center is going to be at negative 2, comma, 3. Right? This gives you the center. You just set this equal to 0 and you solve. Okay, and this is the r square. Okay, 
So R squared equal to 23 over 2. So R equal to square root of 23 over square root of 2. And if you simplify, then you get from here, you're going to get R equal to square root of 46 over 2. Let's go to example 11, uh, 6, okay, uh, oh no, this is it.